name is Samantha and welcome back to my channel my August TBR and just like my July one this is a very big and ambitious TBR but I think it'll be good because there's a lot of anticipated reads on here for me and the only thing that sucks is that it's gonna be hard to pick which one to start with but I do think that this TBR will be really doable and I have a lot of different genres mixed in there which is good because it spices my reading up a little bit so the first book that I'm going to be picking up as soon as possible is another e-arc from NetGalley, and it does come out to October, but I was very excited when I got approved for this because I wasn't expecting to, and that is Ellen Hildebrand's third installment of her new series, uh, Troubles in Paradise. You can't really see because it's screen on screen, but I tried. So Ellen Hildebrand is one of my favorite authors, and she has this trilogy that's come out. It's kind of like a murder, not a murder, a mystery I don't know why I said murder. It's a mystery and a romance mixed together, and she typically just goes for romance. So I was really excited, and she does a very good job with it. So I'm excited to read this third book. Usually I like to save the Night Galleys right before they're published, but I, that's not going to happen with this one. I did get the first two from Book of the Month, and I will be getting the third one from Book of the Month, even though I have will have read it by then, just because I want all the books to match my OCD. The Mistake, which is the second installment in the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. This is a series of hockey romances that takes place at Briar College in Boston, I believe. And this follows another hockey player on the same team as Garrett, who is our main character in the first book, uh, John Logan, who they call Logan, and his kind of romance with a freshman named Grace. This book is pretty short. Her writing is really really fun and easy to follow. There's a lot of banter between the characters. The print on the pages is pretty big, so I think this will be a quick read. The next book is a book that I borrowed from my best friend a while ago, and she has been dying for me to read this, so I figured I need to just pick it up and read it because she keeps being like, hey, read this one, read this one, and then I always find another book. But that is What Kind of Girl by Alyssa Chamel, Jainmel. And from what I know, it follows our main character who's in high school, and I believe she's being physically abused by her boyfriend. I've heard that this is a pretty tough book, but it's very good. It raises a lot of awareness, so I am excited to pick that up. The next one is a thriller that came out last year, I believe, and got a lot of hype, and I finally picked it up. And that was is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This follows our main character's couple has been together for a really long time. Their marriage has been great, but they're getting bored, so they decide that they're going to murder someone and get away with it. That's all I know. I think that's really all I want to know, because that just sounds crazy and very interesting. And this has a lot of really good reviews, so cool. The next one I also don't know much about, and that is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I just read Clap When You Land that came out in May, and I read her book, The Fire on High, earlier this year, I think in March. And they're just amazing books. Her writing is phenomenal. She wrote in verse for Clap When You Land and wrote in verse for this one because she is a slam poet. I literally don't know a single thing about this book besides that it's written in verse. A lot of people have been picking this up because of Clap When You Land and liking the format that she wrote in, so I'm excited for this. And because it's in verse, I know it'll be a quick read. The next is another thriller because I've been in kind of a thriller mood. And I read a thriller by this author for the reading rush, and I really enjoyed it. And I forgot that I got a book of hers from Book of the Month last year, and that is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. All I know is that this follows our main character, who's a nanny for this rich family, and I believe one of the kids is killed, and she's blamed for it. I read her book in a dark, dark wood for the reading rush, and I really, really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. The next is a book that I got from Book of the Month in June. And I wanted to read it this month, but it's kind of big, so it got pushed off to August. And that is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. This is basically like The Bachelor, I guess, and follows our main character, who's a plus-size social media influencer. And there's this TV show that she watches called Main Squeeze, which is basically The Bachelor. And she puts out a tweet one day about how none of the girls on that show are ever plus-size, and they're always very skinny and there's not a lot of body positivity on the show and her tweet basically gets picked up by the producers so they ask her to be on the show where she's the one that has to pick the candidates so it's like the bachelorette so it's switched a little bit i've heard really really good things about this book i'm hoping it's not just the hype because there has been times where i've read a book of the month based off the hype and it hasn't been good so i'm a little nervous about this one so we will see 
if I do get to this because Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. This is a male to male romance. It follows our main characters, Luke and Oliver, and they're very different. I guess Luke is a rock star, he's famous, and it looks like Oliver is in politics or something like that. And they strike up a deal to be publicity friendly fake boyfriends until the dust is settled. But they can go their separate ways and pretend it never happened. So this is definitely going to be a fake dating trope, which I love those. I have heard great things in, about this book and that it's very cute. I adored Red, White, and Royal Blue. So the fact that this kind of follows the same ideas as that one makes me excited. And I will be picking this up ASAP. The next is another Book of the Month book that I didn't get from Book of the Month. I got... Um, from someone else, and that is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This has gotten a lot of good reviews as well on Goodreads and Booktube, and all I know is that it follows two sisters who, twin sisters, and one grows up in a black community in the South, and the other kind of grows up in a white community and tries to pass, pass as white, and they're two different lives, and how that looks when you're a black woman in a white community and a black woman in a black community. I believe that's pretty much what the premise is, but that's all I really know. I kind of picked this up off of the hype as well, so I'm hoping that it delivers. The next is another book I want to pick up ASAP. This is going to be so hard. And one that's got a lot of hype on Goodreads lately, and that is The House the House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune. My freaking cats, one of my cats, chewed the book jacket. and I'm so mad because I got this as a gift from my best friend as a pick-me-up, and I was so excited. And then the next day, I put it on my shelf and the cats had chewed it. So, luckily it's only a little bit, but I don't know much about this either, except the fact that there's this house and there's foster kids. That's all I need to know. I work with foster kids, so any book with foster care really speaks to me, and I try to pick up as many as I can. So, I want to pick this up so soon as well. And I think there's a little bit of magical realism in here, but I could be wrong. The next one is another book that I got as a gift. And want to pick up very soon, which seems to be the theme throughout this video, and that is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This came out a little while ago and has gotten a lot of controversy over it. It follows a main character who had a relationship with her teacher in high school, and then it takes place like 10 years later, and it comes to light that a lot of other girls had relationships with him, and that, you know, this was her first love, and she didn't realize that he was using her and abusing her. So then all these women come up front about it and share some experiences so it makes her second guess like maybe this isn't what I thought it was and maybe this wasn't healthy at all and maybe I'm actually a victim of abuse. I've heard that it's a really dark book but a very good book and I also heard that the author took like 10 years to write this so I'm interested to see how this is going to be. The next I have a, a collection of short stories and that is Happily Ever After by Kira Cass. I did the selection buddy read this month and adore the series. I flew through the book so quickly. And this has, uh, I think, five, four, four short stories. The Prince, the Guard, the Queen, the Favorite. And then it has um, some extra scenes and a bonus epilogue to the one. So I'm excited for this as well. I feel like this might be a nice in between some of these books as a little pick me up since I'm reading a lot of thrillers and some dark stuff. And it's just a bunch of short stories, which are easy to get through, and it's got, like, illustrations in it, so I'm excited for that. The last but not least, finally, is my buddy read for the month of August with Ellie at Ellie's Little Library, and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I'm probably one of the only people in the booktube universe that hasn't read Moral Instruments series yet, and Ellie was telling me that she read the first one. A long time ago but needed to reread it and because the books are big and it's a long series we're thinking maybe one book a month so we're going to start with City of Bones this month um it's the first in the Mortal Instruments series I don't know anything about this book I'm not even going to pretend that I do and I'm sure most people watching this know what City of Bones is about and I wanted to read this for last year's reading rush and then never did and then I put in another um readathon TBR which I think was the Newts and then it just kept popping up my TBR again and again, and again. So I finally need to pick this up, so the fact that I'm doing it as a buddy read will really motivate me, because I'll have someone to discuss it as we're reading it. So I'm excited for that, and I'll definitely post a vlog of my first reaction to reading this book for the first time, like I did for the selection, 
just so you guys can kind of experience that because I think it's fun to watch people read your favorite books and what they think of them and why they love them as much as you do and the things you guys have in common with the books and it's a nice way to discuss your favorites so all right that is my very long August TBR I'm very excited to jump into these. I have no idea where I'll start, as I've kind of said throughout this video, because there's so many that I'm dying to pick up. But it'll be interesting to see in my August wrap-up how far we get. So stay tuned for that.